BHP Mercedes AMG GT4 Saloon to make debut at Geneva. The concept will preview the Panamera Turbo rivaling GT4 Super Saloon, due in 2019 and replacing the CLS shooting brake. Mercedes AMG Performance Division is set to kick off its 50th anniversary celebrations at the Geneva Motor Show in early March with the unveiling of a 600 bhp plus four-door saloon concept internally known as the GT4. Set to provide clear hints to a production version of the new four-seater, the new twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8-powered Super Saloon is set to replace the CLS shooting brake when it reaches UK showrooms in 2018. The GT4 will become AMG's third dedicated series production model line, following on from the SLS and the existing GT. The arrival of the AMG engineered four-seat saloon in concept form will complement the planned unveiling later in 2017 of AMG's recently announced limited volume, F1-inspired hypercar in what is set to become a pivotal year for the brand. Targeted at the, the Porsche Panamera, BMW 6 Series Grand Coupe and Audi A7 R7, the new saloon, codenamed X290, is the brainchild of AMG boss Tobias Mowers. Original plans for a model in the mold of the GT4 were first aired in a series of patent applications filed by AMG in 2012. At the time, plans centered around a long wheelbase version of the SLS featuring two gullwing doors and a pair of small, rear-hinged rear doors. More recent plans for the performance four-door model subsequently became more closely linked to the current GT. But while the latest addition to AMG's lineup will share key styling cues and elements of its mechanical package with the company's headlining two-door, sources say it will be based on a different platform from the bespoke aluminium structure used by the Porsche 911 rival. The basis for the GT4 is parent company Mercedes's modular rear architecture, MRA, as used beneath the C63, E63, and S63. It has been specially modified for the GT4, with what insiders at AMG's Affle Turbic headquarters describe as unique wheelbase and track width measurements. Other dedicated features include the added use of lightweight materials within the floor pan and body structure, most notably aluminium and hot-formed high-strength steel, the adoption of which is aimed at lowering the weight of the new model to below that of Mercedes-AMG's existing MRA-based models in the search of greater performance potential and enhanced handling characteristics. Power for the GT4 will come from the latest evolution of AMG's twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8, already confirmed for the new E63. Among its developments is the adoption of new twin-scroll turbochargers mounted between the cylinder banks. The new turbos are claimed to provide improved induction qualities over the more conventional units used in the existing version of the M177 designated engine. The engine is tipped to be offered in two states of tune from the start of sales, with both standard formatic and NS formatic end models. In initial range topping S formatic end guys, the GT4S engine output is expected to top the 603 bhp of the new E63S Formatic Plus. It is understood that Mercedes Performance Car Division is considering coupling the engine with a newly developed integrated starter generator, ISG. The move would not only provide it with the ability to deliver short periods of added performance via a 2.0 bhp electric motor mounted within the gearbox but also offer instantaneous startup with what one engineer with knowledge of the new system referred to as seamless stop-start qualities. The ISG operates via a 48V electrical system, suggesting the GT4 could adopt a moderate-sized lithium-ion battery as part of its arsenal of high-tech developments. The engine will also feature dynamic mounts designed to suppress load changes during hard cornering and be combined with the latest version of AMG's SpeedShift MCT automatic gearbox. The transmission will be coupled to the latest version of Mercedes-AMG's 4MATIC four-wheel drive system, which features a fully variable apportioning of power between the front and rear wheels. It will also incorporate a drift feature that allows the driver to channel power exclusively to the rear wheels in a move aimed at promoting oversteer.
Also likely is a less powerful six-cylinder variant of the new AMG model using Mercedes's new turbocharged 3.0-liter inline engine, likely in combination with an ISG. The GT4 will be underpinned by a largely bespoke suspension system that is being developed to provide unique dynamic characteristics, with greater camber adjustment and wheel control than those delivered by the suspension used on other MR8-derived AMG models, along with revised steering rates. It is not yet clear whether the GT4 will include the three-chamber air body control air springs used by the latest E63. AMG is on a roll at the moment, with booming global sales. Mowers, who was made chairman in 2013, said the performance division is approaching the size that Stuttgart neighbor Porsche was in 2010 before the Macan SUV was launched. In recent years AMG sales have boomed, with sources suggesting that the recent addition of models such as the turbo 3.0 liter V6 powered C43, E43 and GLC43 will help to push AMG volumes to well over 80,000 units this year. The AMG lineup currently supports 31 models, with a plan to expand to 48 models in the future.